You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution. Hello, all you weirdos. Jim here, and we have a bit of breaking news. This is more of a visual type of thing, and it is from Bleeding Cool, who ended up leaking a cover for the absolute Batman, and it's pretty cool. I'm wondering if people are going to get more and more excited about it as we head to SDCC San Diego Comic Con, where we'll certainly get a ton more information about Absolute Batman, but also the Absolute Batman universe. And speaking of visual, yes, I was a visual back in my K-pop days. But if you don't know what the Absolute line is, Absolute DC is a DC's comics answer to the Marvel's ultimate line. That's the best way to describe it. It's a combined universe outside the main continuity, though it has been rumored recently that it will be in the same multiverse as the mainline DC comic books. So part of that multiverse slash omniverse, if you're going infinite frontier stuff. And with that, I do believe that this absolute line will tie into the end of the current event, absolute power. I mean, that's not that much of a leap. But I do think that the ending of Absolute Power will cause, you know, a divergent, cause a new multiversal universe to be created, thus having this Absolute DC, which is going to be part of the DC All-In initiative, a new era, all of that all together. And with that, I do think that it will also, and I'm talking about the Absolute Power event, I think that it will also set up the new status quo for a bunch of the regular DC Comics continuity. We have a lot of creative teams ending at about the time that Absolute Power is ending. And so when I think when they jump on, some of it will be a new status quo. Some people even seeing the, uh, you know, the signs, the tea leaves, kind of like a, a Connor Hawk being the new Green Arrow, which I'm sure some people will enjoy and some people lose their mind on. But, Back to this absolute DC line. It seems as if Scott Snyder will be running it and writing absolute Batman, a return to the character he's most known for. And when this was initially rumored, I I was kind of disappointed. I actually wanted Scott Snyder to do something different. Now, it seems like they will start with the Trinity, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. And I would have liked to see Scott Snyder do something newer, say, a Wonder Woman. I thought that would be kind of cool, though it looks like the absolute line will absolutely follow the current trend because it looks like or rumored that Kelly Thompson will be on Wonder Woman because, you know, she's a woman. But we'll see. And I mean, Wonder Woman, she's a woman. You know that, right? But also Jason Aaron on Superman. And I would have even had him on Wonder Woman as well. Maybe Scott Snyder go back to a bit of Superman, a character he has written, but not as much as Batman. So this whole story, this whole video is, though, about the leaked photo of the Ashcan comic for Absolute Batman. It will be available at San Diego Comic-Con. It's drawn by Nick Dragota, East of West fame, among others. And it looks like it will be available in local shops as well. And I have seen a couple people claiming, uh, that is in air quotes, by the way, claiming that they already have it in their hands. But it all seems very sus to me because I don't see pictures. And when they're asked, oh, man, what's it about? What's it like? What's this Batman? They're like, oh, I don't want to spoil things. Or, oh, you'll have to wait for yourself. That is AKA. I don't have it. And I'm just trying to pretend I do, and now I'm being called out on it and have no way to tell you. Though, I'm sure some people have seen it before now, maybe even Scott Snyder. I don't know. But yeah, those people seem sus. And again, I said, Nick Dragota on the cover makes people start to wonder and rumor and say, oh, I think he's going to be the interior artist for Absolute Batman. But We will have to wait and see. In my deal, I would think that he is. When you end up having something like this and you have a cover, you you usually go with that deal. But that's not set in stone. That could just be him doing the cover. And we'll certainly find that out when we get to SDCC this coming week. So 
as for the cover itself, I mean, you look at this thing and you're like, okay, it's black and white. Yeah. Oh my God. Batman's huge. Batman is humongous. And before this leaked, I saw some people speculating what the absolute universe characters will be like. How will this universe be? Would it be young heroes, old heroes, even heroes with chicken pox? Maybe, but that last one's a joke because I don't think the Trinity are eating armor hot dogs except maybe Batman because Alpha would probably make them very fancy wrapped in bacon with toothpicks in them or something. But hot dogs aside, if Batman is any indication here, the absolute universe characters will be absolutely jacked. I mean, he is humongous. Now, as for the costume, it's it's kind of extreme. It has some crazy things going on. It has spiked shoulder pads, as you see. And the cape is, is interesting because when I first looked at it, it looks like the cape is actually more of those, like, extreme sports wing-type things that you zip through canyons. And go real fast and stuff. But then if you really look at it, you see points of the cape coming from behind down through Batman's legs, coming through behind there. And it means, you know, it might be just that he's holding it in a different way there. But it's kind of a, a cool look. He looks a little sullen looking down like he, he's done something wrong. But with that, though, the cape also has these like talon hooks on it, which seems scary to me. But it might be something you can end up attacking, grabbing, whatever it would be. But that's pretty cool. But one of the big things that people would want to see and know is, well, what's the bat emblem? That that kind of makes the deal. You know, it, it fills the room here. And when you look, it's, oh, it's nothing. It's just like a, a black kind of rectangle. Now, when you look at it, it does look like it's kind of like stitched very poorly. Very poorly on there, and this might just be some weird play that Bruce is covering up the emblem, kind of with a you know piece of cardboard or something. Uh, also, I think that if there was an Alfred in this universe, he would definitely not let Bruce go out looking like that. That looks like looks like crap. I don't think he would let him go out. So maybe that's an indication that there is no Alfred. But it is like a DIY type rectangular patch. But like I said. The way that it's stitched up, I think they're playing coy with this and not revealing the actual emblem, which you would think that this thing is not going to be the finished product. This cannot be the finished bat, bat emblem or it will go down as maybe the worst. It has to be the worst. Also, he has his undies on the outside. And overall, I don't know. I, I can't say I, I love the costume. I can't say that this is something that's like, oh, my God, that looks so cool. I mean, that's a big thing, showing the costume and my initial reaction. But it might be just because of how this is, how it's black and white, where you don't get an emblem. I kind of was like, eh, in the middle right now. I do like the pouches on the utility belt. Those are pretty cool. But overall, I want to know if this costume, if this gets you excited as we head toward San Diego Comic Con and probably a lot more announcements on, or definitely a lot more announcements on this absolute line. Does this get you any more excited? Are you like, all right, it's really happening now? This is going to be cool. I can't wait to see. Or you're like, eh, whatever. You know, I, I've had kind of both in, back and forth here on the channel of people saying that this is going to be like the greatest thing ever. And then some people saying, eh, it's too much like the ultimate stuff. Why didn't they do this? Why don't they continue the Earth One stuff? All of that all wrapped in one, but I'd like to know, what do you think of the costume? Are you excited about the books? And if it is that rumored lineup, again, Scott Snyder on Batman, uh, Jason Aaron on Superman and Wonder Woman being done by Kelly Thompson, does that excite you? I have a feeling one of those is really not going to excite people, but, but we will see. And I'll let you know that I will be here covering, trying to cover almost everything when we get to San Diego Comic-Con. I'll try not to be lazy. We'll pump out the coverage. We'll do all that. And obviously, we'll be talking a lot about the absolute DC line and all the news that comes with it. And with all that, please let me know, as I said in the comments, you, hey, everybody, Jim's back, like tag team. Here I am again. And when I ended up going and I was doing the video for this, I ended up noticing the logo on the top of the Ashcan comic a little more than I did when I was looking at it. 
for the video. And I kind of see that the logo does look like that kind of awful patch on Batman's chest. So indeed, that looks like to be the logo. And I said it would probably be one of the worst ever. And I still stick with that. Though we might have to have a discussion of what is the worst Batman logo. Because when you end up having it on the top, it looks more of a bat. For some reason, it reminds me of Batman 66, but in a like bulky, rectangular way. But when you do see it as the logo, you kind of see the wings on the outside and you do see the two ears in the middle. And then what would be the spiked shoulder pads on the top and then the talon type things of the cape on the bottom. I think that it is. A weird visual. I don't think anybody's going to really look at it and think, oh, Batman, unless it has absolute Batman just stamped on it like that. It'd be kind of funny if it did in the actual book. But that looks like a bulky, over-the-top, clunky, chunky type of emblem. And that doesn't look great. That doesn't look great. But when I was doing this, I wanted to make sure, because I'm sure that some people have already commented. That, oh my God, you're wrong. It was the logo. It's the same thing. And indeed, it is. So, again, with that, let me know what you think of this because, boy, it it looks crazy. It looks insane. Uh, But let me know in the comments and I will talk to you all later. Like cool comic book shows, you can help us out by clicking that Patreon button on the top left corner where you not only get to support us because that's such a thrill. You also get a ton of shows featuring DC, Marvel, and indie comics, as well as manga, and much, much more, including early access to a bunch of our shows, usually over 15 hours of bonus content a week. And if you go now, you can get a free seven-day trial to check things out for us. So tell me what you think of the comments. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk to you all later.